Okay, hi guys, welcome back to another Tennille's Teaches. Today I'm just going to go over some quick uh, UI stuff that I like to keep on my Toon Boom and some basic stuff about the layers. Uh, real quick, we'll try and make this one a short one. First off, I'd like to encourage you guys to set up Toon Boom similar to the way that I have it. If you have something that works better for you, then the by all means, do that, but if you're someone who's new to Toon Boom, these are the basic setup things that I would recommend having. You can change your setup at any time by right-clicking on the side here, and you can check mark uh, different things in your workspace, and those things will appear. You can move these things around using this, even making a second, second row if you want them. I like to keep this up here, though. And then next, I want to move down to this, these three tabs, camera, drawing, network. And these are three good tabs to use and have up all the time. Um, there are other good tabs to have up to see other things about your camera, but that gets into some of the more advanced stuff, so we'll keep it simple for now. I would recommend, though, having your camera, a drawing layer, and a network tab. So, the camera tab lets you see what is in your camera at all times. If I were to zoom out of this just a little bit, you'll see this gray box is around uh, my picture, and that is what is in frame. If I were to render this frame right now, this gray box, what is inside this gray box is all that you would see. However, though, let's say I want to just keep my camera fit to view and I don't want to keep zooming in and out uh, of my picture to get a good look at it or to draw. I can go into my drawing layer and as long as I am clicked on the layer I want to be working in, I can be working in this layer and put something down and you know let's say I want to zoom in and, and do something. And then I can come over here to my camera and I can watch my animation to make sure that I like how it plays out here. So and then you can go right back into your drawing and keep going and switching back and forth from your drawing to your camera. And you have your play options up here. You can play, uh, have the animation repeat or go on a loop. And this will make sure that sound plays when you hit the play button. And this is your sound scrubbing. So if I were to scrub or slide the time, uh, the timeline back and forth, then you would hear the sounds um, of your audio while you do that, or you can have that turned off. You also have this slider that you can move to play the animation back and forth at different speeds here. I'll just get rid of that. Uh, and then you have your frame, which is the frame number that you're on. So I'm on frame 41. I can tell it to go back to the beginning by just hitting 1. I can tell it to start, start whenever I want. So maybe I want this to start at frame 20 and stop at frame 50. That way, I have these two black triangles that tell me where my preview starts and stops, and my repeat on, so I can just loop the animation, and I can just watch it over and over that way, and not have to watch the whole thing over and over again. And then if I put these back at the beginning, and I can pull this black triangle, back to the end, then I would watch the whole animation. Don't worry about cutting your animation off by using these black triangles. Uh, it's just there to show you a preview of what you're working on. Um, if you actually want to cut the length of your animation, you use this red bar. And this red bar will cut, or if you bring it out, it will uh, make your animation longer. So I could put it at 300 frames, or I can stop it at the end of the music, right there. I'm going to leave it about 230. 
to give myself some wiggle room. So there's those things. And then lastly, I want to show you, let's say you're in your drawing layer. And here you can see I have here uh, to, to move around in your drawing layer. If you just hold spacebar and click, it's like this in many other programs. And then you can zoom in and out using control minus or control plus. Um, you can also zoom in and out of your timeline using the same thing. If I hit minus, you'll see the frames get a lot closer together. If I hit plus, they get a lot further apart. Um, anyway, though, let's say I'm just working on the line art. And, you know, I've got my, I'm my, even though this is just sketches, I've got my line art the way I want it. And then I want to do coloring. Well, instead of making a new layer and putting that underneath and then coloring everything under it, or even worse, trying to, uh, let's say, color, uh, color in this by, by just using the paint tool and, and coloring it in my sketches, that'd be bad. Each layer in Toon Boom actually has four layers that come with each layer. And that may seem a little bit confusing at first, but it's actually a really handy tool. So right now, on my Drawing 1 layer, I am on Line Art. Now there is the Overlay Art, Line Art, Color Art, and Underlay Art for each layer. Each layer has these four separate layers on it. So on my line art, I have all this sketchy stuff. And then on my underlay art, I have my colors. And if I hit this to preview both of them, it shows me both at the same time. Or I can just go over here to my camera and it'll show me both of them at the same time. Now you can put these in whatever order you want, but on the top will always be your overlay art. Then your underlay goes under that, under that goes the color art layer, and under that goes the underlay. Obviously, Toon Boom suggests that you put any, you know, sketches or rough animation on your underline. Then you do your color art, your line art, and your overlay art on top of all that. Um, but you can use them however you want. And what's also handy is you can go in and go to layer properties on each layer. And let's say, you know, you don't want your sketchy uh, your sketchy animation to show up anymore so that is on my line art layer and I can just turn that off or let's say I don't like the colors I can just turn off the uh, underlay art and now that won't show up anymore on that layer so there's just a few more tips and tricks in Toon Boom um, if you have any more questions about any of these features or any other features in Toon Boom, let me know and I will try and figure them out. Have a great day, you guys, and have a great week. Bye!